Welcome back. Today is Rally Cross Day. It is still a little cold out. It is 28 degrees currently. Since the last time you saw this car, I did install a skid plate on the front to protect that bumper because it is not very strong. This car does have a two inch lift on it and I put BF Goodrich all-terrain tires on the car. I haven't done any testing. In fact, I have only driven this car down to the gas station and back. So this will be the first test for this car. This car does have more ground clearance than any car that I have brought rally crossing before. Right now I am at the Cedar Falls Motorsports Park. If you remember, I did do a video where I rally crossed my classic mini at this venue. And at the last rally cross, I was driving my Datsun 280Z. So this will be a lot different experience driving such a modern car. A lot of new faces here, that's great. Sure Thank you for fun. signing up. Yeah. Um, so we've got cones out there. The uprights are the ones that count as a two second penalty if they get knocked over and the flag can be seen, it's a two second penalty. If they hit this one and send it flying, it doesn't mean a darn thing. If they're on the wrong side and this one's still up and they hit this, they're on the wrong side, that's a t missed gate, 10 second penalty. So, One thing I'm really concerned about is this shifter. The shift linkage is not the best at all. Well, I just did my first run and I think my gearing might not be the best for this course. I was in second gear most of the time. I kind of wished I had been back in first gear. Maybe I just need to get a little bit faster and it'll be better. But besides that, the car felt fine. One, two, four, one cone. Two, four, one cone. Car three, three, one cone.
That time it didn't feel as good. About three quarters of the way through the track, it felt like I was starting to lose power. Either the car wasn't picking up fuel properly anymore or something else is going on. There's definitely something wrong with the car now. If I try to give a throttle, it just dies. So I'll have to look into this before I can go out there again. the car cool down for a little bit it's running now It's getting rough out there. I got some serious air at some point. I think they have a truck out there looking at what I hit. I have one more run on this track and then we change to the other track.
I got through all four of my first runs. You can hear the radiator fan running. We'll turn on the ignition. That's where my water temp is. I think from now on, I will let the car cool down when I don't need to have it running. We'll see if I can make it through the day. See how deep some of this was getting carved out.
through. <laughs> second gear right now. I'm all loaded up now. Wasn't a perfect weekend, but I did make all of my runs, so I'm glad of that. Now I have a list of issues to take care of, so you'll definitely see this car on the lift getting worked on. Number one, first thing I want to address is that shift linkage. See if I can improve that or if I just need to rebuild it. So if you want to see more videos on this car, comment below and click subscribe.